Stop jamming along. You're listening to Bear Friend Tea Party, the world's only and most sexual podcast. My name is Christopher Winter, and I'm joined on the podcast this evening. You know him. You love him. He's the father of all your illegitimate children, Mr. D. Gunner Beamish. Not present tonight. Also joining us on the podcast, from North Carolina, the guy who takes, taking it to the max, to the extreme, Mr. Jeremy Mullis. Hey, hey, do you, do you guys remember that, uh, that one time that, I'm sorry, you're doing a thing. And finally, from Portland, Oregon, world-renowned lion tamer, Dr. Jonathan Bumpers. Hello. Um, what's going on? Hey. How's everybody doing? <laughs> so, um... Oh, so we did actually. We we do we do have uh, we have a we did get a couple of comments on oh, the uh, blog to uh, episode. Uh, I guess what I will call our last episode, which was episode sixteen. Yeah. Um, let's, okay. Let's hear them. Yeah. So Levar Burpcastle <laughs> left a comment, um, and he said, uh, he said, I am fairly certain that I listened to this episode. 
I don't know if he was uh, trying to get the twenty dollars or or what, but yeah, Lavar, you have to email in if you want the twenty dollars. Yeah, that offer um, is still open. Yeah, we will give that. Is email it too late address. for us to steal that name, Lavar <laughs> Um No, it is not too late. Okay, I'm just checking. Uh, in fact, in fact, that may have been one of us. Um, <laughs> It's I'm gonna switch headphones because these headphones are shit. Okay, do you want us? Do you, I can't do you hear wanna, anything. Show, at all do you want right us now. to wait? See, now Winnie has trouble hearing me. He bitches about my audio connection. That's because uh, your audio is obviously terrible. But when he can't hear you, he blames the headphones. All right. That doesn't seem reasonable. What what brand of headphones are you using, John? Are those Beats by Dre? Um, of course, as you know, those are the only headphones that I use. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we also <laughs> we also got a a uh, comment from some from a Bud Court, a listener who says, ah, "No way!" <laughs> who yet yeah, who claims I am all three members of ZZ Top, and I <laughs> and I accept your offer of one million dollars to appear on your podcast. <laughs> Well, bud, um, sounds like you're full of shit. <laughs> unless, unless that is that a that's not a guy from ZZ Top, is it? No, uh, that's the he, guy from I'm, Harold and Maude. Bud Court. Yeah, he, he played Maude, I think. No, Maude wasn't Maude a chick. Yeah, I was making a hilarious joke. Um, it was the it was the guy. It was Harold. Oh, and then he went. What did he go on to be in ZZ Top? <laughs> Should we do segment one? Segment one. Segment one. What famous fat person am I? Uh, William Howard Taft. That is incorrect. Are, how, did, how does this segment work? I, yeah, I was expecting we would go through a lot of like really complicated <laughs> uh, procedural questions about it. Um, no, so I... So okay, I, I have a procedural Oh, oh uh, John Goodman. How, how does this segment work? So, the premise of this segment is I am a famous fat person. Right. With you right? so far. And you need to guess which famous fat person I am. William Howard Taft. No, no, no. no. John Goodman. Uh, no, no. John Lovitz. No, that is incorrect. <laughs> this is yeah, going to be a really difficult game. Is it, can yeah, is it, is it like a can 20 we, questions Can we ask you questions or, about or, yourself? Or what? Okay. S- good question. So. Thank you. Um, yeah. I. Uh, Kathy now, Bites. I Was that one of my questions? Yeah, so Damn I don't have to have been fat necessarily for my entire life, but right. at oh. some point during my fame, I must have been fat. So, like, for instance, Meatloaf. Elvis Presley would be game. Uh-huh. Uh, what's that guy, that that good actor, you know, I could have been a contender, that guy? Marlon Brando. Brando, oh. he would be he would be fair because they were both kind of famously fat during the end of their life. Jeremy, I, I, I or Orson two, Welles, I, I have two questions. Orson How Wells, about Orson for Wells? Now okay. I couldn't I be someone. Like, I, have I, I don't questions. think that would be fair game if I was someone who was like I was famous, but only but I was only fat as a child before I was famous. That wouldn't count. I don't have okay. an example of that. John Brown, but Minoch. I'm, I'm not going to choose someone like that. So is Jonah Hill who still a, fat? A fat kid. But then got jo- famous as a skinny adult. That wouldn't count. Jo- jo- Jonah Hill is less fat than he used to be. But I. But yeah, he would be game in any case. Now I could be alive. I could be dead. I could be a fictional character. Okay. Okay. The kingpin. But me, I have to have been fat at I, some point that was I have, significant. I have two questions. Okay, let's take them. Are you uh, Elvis I'll take Presley the second one first. And are you Marlon Brando? Winnie the Pooh. What was the first one? Elvis Presley. No, I'm neither of those. Okay, because they were the examples you gave, so it seemed like a good. Yeah, place no, to start. those were. Yeah, and I. Uh, they, that was okay, but that. 
John Candy. Yeah. No, I am not John Candy. Can we ask you questions about yourself? Oprah. Yes. I, I, I would say that pretty much any yes or no question I would answer, unless you're trying to do something like wily, like, oh, does your name start with a J? You know, which I think is not within the spirit of the game. So the and question, what is your said, name? Is not out. within the fat spirit of the game. That said, I'm, you know, Al Roker. I, I'm not going to confine it to yes or no questions necessarily. Okay. I may, you know, depending on the nature of the question, I may entertain some other questions. So we have to keep in the spirit of the game and not be Charles assholes. Charles S. Dutton. Look, you can, no, you can be assholes, but if you're like, if you say like, shut oh, up! what is just your Just shut name? up! You know, then I'll just be like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to answer that question is all I'm are you say. Are you an actor? Santa Claus. Are we going now? Are you done with your procedural <laughs> questions? I'm done. Not yeah. necessarily. I was I was prepared to go on for like a lot longer just talking about the p- possible rules, but no, I am I am not an actor. Israel Kanoi mm. Are you a, Are you? a, 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 oh, a statesman? You know, like a, yeah, a, a political I, leader. I, I would say that I am a statesman. Yes, William Howard Taft. <laughs> Jeff Garland. I am not William Howard Taft. Uh, no. J. Edgar Hoover. No, I would say that I am not J. Edgar Hoover. I wouldn't have called him a statesman. He was, he was fat, I mean. wasn't he? He wasn't yeah, well, a statesman. I, I, in any case, head statesman or no. <laughs> the kid from the Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you uh, American? No, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Are you Winston Churchill? Yes. Ooh, Thomas Aquinas. Uh, okay. Gotcha. That was, yeah. a, that was a good one. Yeah, I was okay. gonna guess Henry the Eighth. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that. Uh, well, segment two. Alfred Hitchcock. No, no, no. Now John. Now John has to choose a fat person. What? Now John has to choose a fat person. Oh, is that Lewis how it works? Armstrong? It's so. gonna be like a long segment. Oh, every okay, week. okay. Um, Just goes on until it, until we get bored. We are doing this every week now, right? Wait, no. Oh, wow. Well, Chris, you got it right, so maybe you get. Oh, to choose so a I have to fatty. choose. Okay, okay. I am a famous. Fat Albert. Wait, wait. Uh, I was gonna. Ch- I had a choice. Are but- you John Candy? No, it's just upon consideration. My choice was neither famous nor a person. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> is it Garfield? Oh no, it's not. Is it yes. Wait, yes. Oh. it was yes. You was it, right? it was Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna count that. All right. Okay. I get John. You get to go next. Then. Um. Chris Farley. <laughs> just to clarify, okay, okay it'll, um, it'll die just down. To, Wait, just to clarify, down. just to, I, just I, to I, clarify, I was not prepared for this. Um, just to clarify, I understand that Garfield is a famous Val cartoon cat, but within the yeah. context of the comic strip, he's not famous. Oh, what are you talking I, about? Of course he is. Everybody in the comic strip knows him. Yeah, I think I think Garfield would have been totally legitimate. I disagree. Not everyone in the comics. Okay. Mario, knows. Mario, and Luigi well, look, Mario, the Mario if you brothers. Look, if you go, if you look, read like a series like Garfield in Paradise, or uh, you know the one where they go camping, a lot of the lot of the incidental are you, characters. Are you, are you referring to Garfield goes camping? I think it's Garfield in the rough or something. Oh, the fat man <laughs> from go. Jake and the fat man. Um. Anyway, a Which lot of was, those. Yeah. yeah, Garfield is not famous within the context of the strip. Well, I think that Frederick J. Duke's A.K.A. I mean, the Blob. I think that could be a problem with any fictional character. Yeah. I, so, well, I, I is think, the question: Are they famous within the context of you the know, fiction, or are you disqualifying? I think not. Not. I think I think any well-known Sancho fictional the character Leon. who was fat would be game. Okay. Okay. I, ju- I just but, because I said he wasn't famous, I just wanted to but clarify. You know, I, I like, do know that Garfield is famous. That's just my opinion. I mean, I have given this segment to the podcast, and like you know, if we if you guys Queen feel Latifah. differently, like they have to actually be famous in the context of their fictional universe. No, that's no. Re- I think I think it's fine as is. Okay. Yeah. The protagonist from Robert Kimmel okay. Smith's Johnny, young adult right. fiction you, novel Jelly Belly. A fat person, or do we want to move on? Um. Okay. I've I've got one. I don't know if you guys know it or not. Is it Dave Thomas, the founder of Wendy's? <laughs> No, no, I wish it was. Uh, 
Okay, how fat are Danny you? Danny DeVito. Are you like really <laughs> fat or just somewhat portly? Uh, that is it. Oh, wait, I thought it was yes or no questions only. Jelly Roll Morton. It's not no, yes or no questions oh, it's not. only. Okay. You, you can use your judgment as yeah, to whether you think that's call. a fair question. Well, uh, big fat I, to judgment. answer that, I would say it's not entirely clear, but the evidence would say uh, pretty fat. Not just poor. It's not entirely clear. Jason Alexander. Did you live quite a long time ago? <laughs> uh, no. Are you, Are you still alive? Well, I mean, that's subjective, but... Are you Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Kim Jong-un, but no. I'll go with Jesus. Are you Kim Jong-un? Andre the Giant. Is he fat? He's a little chubby. He's portly, maybe. Maybe. I'm, I, I'm sorry, did we, did we determine whether you were currently alive? <laughs> uh, I am not, well... Um, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to answer that without giving away... Um, All of the plant, <laughs> an, an aspect of the of the person. Are you Jesus Christ? Uh, oh, are you oh, the Buddha? Oh, the no. Buddha. Sid no, no. the of the Buddha. I was sure. It was I, the, the answer is I, I may or may not be currently alive, depending oh. on your point of view. Are you are, are you, you Elvis you Presley? Missing? I'm not. I'm not. I'm neither alive nor dead. John Flansburg. Are oh, you are Schrodinger's you? cat? Oh, that's. <laughs> that's that's good. Uh, Are no. you fictional? Yes, a walrus. Ah, okay. Um, Santa Claus. Mm. Are you Jesus? No, not Santa Claus. <laughs> Hair gather horrible. What? Are you the Buddha? No. <laughs> Schrodinger's Garfield. <laughs> no. Oh wait, are you Garfield? No. Are you oh, John Heath Candy? Cliff. Are you Heathcliff? Babe Ruth. No. John, John Candy is human. not fictional. Yes, I am human. What kind of activities do you like to do? <laughs> Chubby Chica. Uh, I like to write uh, letters to um, The New Yorker, I think. Barry White. Hmm. The very eloquent, uh, prosy letters. Homer Simpson. Have but I'm I... also really lazy. Are you Are you Garfield? <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Do you like wait. lasagna? Paul Giamatti. <laughs> no. Do you What hate are your Mondays? feelings on, Fats on Domino. the different days of the week? <laughs> are there any days of the week you like more than others? Or more than others? Dislike more than others. Um Augustus Gloop. I, I I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I mean, I, I assume what is, I assume that I hate Mondays because I'm a person. Is your owner named John? <laughs> Winston Churchill. I, I already told you that I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> so Are you a know. person, like kind of, in a way, but in another way, a cat? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, gosh. Um, Boo lives. Uh, no. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, do, do you have <clears throat> superpowers? What? Do you have superpowers? Um, no. The California Raisins. I'm do including you... telekinesis in superpowers, just to clarify. Uh, yes. Do you want to keep your answer? Are you still saying you do not have superpowers? Yes, I'm sticking with that. Okay. Just, you guys just want to ask some better questions? The Jersey would Governor you, would Chris you, Christie. So you would consider yourself an ordinary um, human being within the context of your fictional universe? Uh, I, me, or I, the character? The character. The character would consider himself uh, above and beyond everyone else. Captain Peter Ron but, White Peach Fuzz. But he's not. But he's not. Are you a dude? Yes. Or a lady. I'm a dude. <laughs> um, Fred Flintstone. Let's see. Do oh, you have geez. a distinctive hairstyle? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say uh, unruly, maybe. Jab of the hut. Uh, um, mm, you should ask me about headgear. What kind of headgear do you wear? I wear one of those like winter uh, hats with the big ear flaps. Are, Are you, you Bob a and Doug Vikings? <laughs> no. Hmm. 
Are you Canadian? No. Are you American? Yes. Andy Richter. Really? With that hat? Are you sure? Why do you wear that hat? Yeah, what's going on? I, I don't I don't remember. I, it was a long time ago that I read this book that I just told you right. it was a book. <laughs> so this is in a book, huh? Oh, Gee. are you that guy in A Confederacy of Dunces? Yes. Henry VIII. I've, I've not read that. No, neither have I, but I've seen the front cover. <laughs> well, way to choose a really <laughs> shitty one, John. Yeah, Sorry, that was, all that was difficult. Uh, his name is Ignatius P. Riley, by the way. He's really fat. He's really General bad. Winfield Scott. Chris Why Newman. wouldn't you tell us if he was alive or not? Is that a plot point in the book? Because he's... Does he turn yeah, out no, Because he's, he's fictional. Try to keep this spoiler-free. Baby King. Yeah. I mean, because... It, it, I mean, is he alive in real life? No. Is he alive in the book? Yes. Oh. I think you're overthinking it there. Yeah, Does, yeah, that just confused me. That what was I supposed to say? Yeah, that's, Fatty Arbuckle. It made me think that this was someone who existed in a weird nether world. Yeah, I like, thought it was like someone who undead. had like disappeared and was like maybe presumed dead, but <laughs> yeah, like a fat version of Amelia Earhart. I mean, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> del- may- <laughs> that's a song title right there. Um, fat cat from the rescue rangers. Yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know how to deal with that. No, you, yeah. Well, maybe we shouldn't open it up to uh, fictional characters. No, you want to move think on? That's fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, we might as well move on. Okay, that that whole thing's being cut. Benjamin Franklin. I th- I think it was fine. Um, yeah, you can just edit out all the like big dive, all the uh, empty space between our asking questions. So we're just it's just really rapid fire. I, no, edit out everything except for the correct guesses. Doctor Octopus. Doctor Octopus. 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 Topic two. This segment is spontaneous Part and only unmotivated two. verbal abuse. <laughs> there will be sorry. There will be no procedural Classic. questions because everyone is already familiar with this segment. I, right? I is have, this my segment? I have a. I have a a meta procedural question. <laughs> Go on. I and that is I'm wondering if what you've just stated that there will be no procedural questions and I'm I'm wondering if that is an an edict or more of a prediction. <laughs> it was an edict. It was not a prediction. Uh, okay, Good question. Go on. So I'll name some people and we will abuse them verbally. Is everybody ready to go? Uh, I'm ready. I've, I was born ready. Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, you are such a stupid piece of shit. I think your books are, like, super boring, and your female characters are, like, always super flat and, and like, dumb little, like, fawny little, like, annoying little bitches. And yeah. I just, you know, I think you're like super overrated as a writer. I mean, you're not without your charm, but like basically all your books are dumb and they're really boring. <laughs> and that Christmas Carol play is really fucking stupid and I'm really sick of it. And I mean, I, honestly, I've never read any of your books. I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's like, fuck that shit. David Copperfield? More like David Crappy Field. <laughs> Is that all you've got? I, I, uh, well, I was gonna. A tale yeah, of two cities. Turn. More like a tale of two shitty. 
<laughs> what are some other uh, books he wrote? I can't remember. Dombey right and now. Sons. Uh. More like Dombey and that's no fun. <laughs> I mean, Bleak. seriously. Oh, like, oh, uh, Bleak like House. Fucking, like, Bleak House? More like Bleak House. <laughs> Actually, that did you see that? Did you watch that PBS the slash series? BBC Bleak House With thing? Uh, Gillian Anderson? Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. It was excellent. Which excellent. Nice work, Dickens. Nice work. The Pickwood Papers. More like the shit ass papers. Like, what's with your fucking hair? I mean, was that in style at the time? You looked like a fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you're su- if you're such an excellent writer, why don't you have a blog? Charles yeah. Dickens, more like Slim Pickens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next, the planet Neptune. Neptune, you're such a piece of shit. You're like cold. You're the farthest planet away now that Pluto's not a planet. You're probably next on the fucking chopping block. You're, you know what you are? You're like a, a fucking... You don't know if you're a gas giant or like a, a cold chunk of rock. Exactly, exactly. Thank I you. Think it's, you I mean, and Jupiter, I think that's, that's true, a I real think gas think giant. And what's with... What's, 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 what's with your fucking orbit? Your orbit is like all over the fucking place. It's not in the right, it's not in the plane of, of all the other planets. It's like, oh, I'm just going all the way over here. It's like elliptical as fuck. I mean, yeah. fuck you. Who do you think you are? And, and what seriously, color are you? How are long, you blue? How, are you green? How I mean, long does it have to take to get around the sun? It should take one fucking year. That's how long it takes to get around the sun. 365 and a quarter days. Okay, you definitely Don't fuck did this up, Neptune. You no, know it was like... Trans-Neptunian object. More like trans-Neptunian stupid. Belgium. Oh, Belgium sucks. Waffles? What's like up with that? that? Chocolate? Fuck that. Yeah, I mean, and also... Belgium, you know, French or Flemish, like choose one. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? We, Belgium we, is responsible for like all European wars, right? Isn't that true? I believe Belgium. so. Belgians, they're a bunch of fucking warmongers. I think I read that are. in history. Belgium. <laughs> Brussels, more like bullshit asshole town. Yeah, where do you get off being the yeah. center of the European Union? Are they yeah. the center of the European Union? Politically, yeah, it's they? the administrative it uh, bureaucratic yeah. center. Yeah. yeah, all those, all those fucking bureaucrats who can't get their goddamn fiscal and monetary policies in line to bring down unemployment. Fuck you, Belgium. Belgium, more like Smelgem. <laughs> is that where Bruges is? I believe it is. I believe it is. And that is another strike against fucking Belgium. Mm. I don't know nothing about Belgium. All I know is, all I know about Belgium... I don't know nothing. Well, because there's nothing worth knowing. Yeah, let's let's go to the next one. I think uh, Belgium's a no-go. Okay. I just can't. I can't. I can't summon up any any uh, any it's, any anger towards. It's Belgium. supposed to be unmotivated. That's the. Okay. Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine, you are so fucking stupid. I think you're so cool with your steam and your smiley face. Frankly, yeah, like why do you put a but face you're not. on the front of a train you're like just, a little fucking? You're not. Thing? Fucking I, asshole! It's really, really dumb. Is you that the one that Ringo Starr yeah, was really on? Frankly, no, no. Childish. Ringo Starr was on Shining Time Station, which was a quality Shining program. Time yeah. Time Station, Ringo Starr Shining would not Time be Station. caught Indeed, dead the on Thomas show. the Tank, it's tank like, Engine. It's not even educational. You don't learn. Frankly, shit that frankly, show. it's I've, stupid. It's just a bunch of fucking trains running around. It doesn't make any sense. Like, are you a train or are you a person? And, like, if you have, like, a train that, like, fucking has a face on it, what's that all about? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would and you let George Carlin Why would they need drivers? Why would they need drivers? Get Ringo Starr on. That's 
bullshit. Fucking sentient fucking train. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, what? You're gonna ride in that? You just ride around on a fucking track all day? Like, like dumb. Shoveling it's coal. bullshit. Frankly, tank engine I've pulled better tank engines engine. out of my ass. It's like fucking ridiculous. I hate that. I hate you. I hate Shining Time Station. I hate Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> I don't know any other characters from the fucking show, and I don't want to know any other characters from the fucking show. Oh, you make oh, me you want to you want to know you may want to know the names of some of the engines on the Thomas the Train Tank, tank Engine series. Country. James, oh one of them was named James, who's a complete asshole. Bullshit. Edward train can like fuck you. off. That's kind of uh, Toby, shit. Toby is like a tram. He's a complete asshole. Asshole. Um, he's such a fucking asshole. I used asshole. to know more. He's so, like, fucking smarmy. He's just, oh. like, worthless. He's, like, fucking blue, like, troublesome like, fucking trucks. Blue train. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever fucking heard. They're just Duncan. Duncan right, was done. a complete jerk. I think I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to do one more and, and then call it a day? What? You want to do one more and then... Uh, one more, one more. Let's, you can always do one more. Okay, how about... Um, Beef Wellington. No, I like that. No, <laughs> something else. Steak Dunnigan? Ste- no, Steak Dunnigan's even better. General Tso's Chicken? No, I, I really like that too. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here's one I know you dislike. Walk This Way featuring Aerosmith and Run DMC. Oh, I hate that fucking version of Walk This Way with Run DMC in it. That's just, it's just, I mean. Really? Tell us I, why. Like, I just don't like those rock, rap crossover things. And the video was really stupid. And Aerosmith looked really stupid. And Run DMC is, like, already stupid. And honestly, the two just, like, they don't go together well. They don't go together well. The whole, like, it's not right. Like, Run DMC was always a little bit silly in a way that Aerosmith was like not supposed to be. Aerosmith was supposed to be like kind of badass and cool and it just it didn't work. It was a failure. It was like I don't think anyone liked that frankly. I think that was one of those like shitty songs that they like just like kind of paid a bunch of money to like force it to be a hit but I think it was like total bullshit. I think no, the no worst one, thing about that song no was one that so many that assholes liked kind of it. That was the worst cringing. thing. So like, many what, what assholes it? loved that song. It was mostly white people, who, and that was like their one rap song that they're like, oh yeah, true. I'm really I don't cool, think even I white, listen I don't to think rap. I white people even liked it. I think it that was they, like prob- white they maybe liked the, the song Walk This Way, but they probably would have liked it better if they hadn't tried to make it into some rap crossover fucking bullshit. Wait, wasn't that Aerosmith? Stupid ass fucking thing. It was, it was like white people liked it before MC Hammer came out. Before there was uh, a rapper they could let. It, it was, it's a terrible song. It's a hate that terrible song. song. It's like the Charles Dickens of rap rock crossovers. It really is. It really I mean, is. It's like, it's actually, like. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I think it's it might like, be more like the. Well, it's as if you, you Charles mean, Dickens was the fucking king of Belgium on Neptune. That's what it resembles. Are there any good rock rap crossovers? No. Uh, Sir Mix a Lot and Mud Honey, maybe? Even that. that. Is that real? That was a thing? It was a thing uh, in the 90s, wasn't it? It was a Sir. Are you serious? Was there actually a Sir Mix a Lot Mud Honey crossover? Yeah, I think it was on the soundtrack to the movie Judgment Night. Was it good? Oh, it was fantastic. So Mix well, a Lot had a rap know, that, it, that it involved the phrase, I'm going to throw you the in the mud, that, honey. That's just the power of that is good. Lot right there. I mean, he's good in any context. I'm going to throw you in the mud, honey. I'm going to throw you in the mud, honey. I'm going to throw you in the mud, honey. I'm going to throw you in the mud, Segment three. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty rad. That was good. Is anyone still here? <laughs> that beat was called nope. Fancy Sandwich. <laughs> do we want to do uh, uh, Daniel Gunnard Beamish's segment? 
Uh, no, let's save it for for. He, I for, asked I asked him if we should do it, and he said, "Yeah, see if you can make any sense of it." I sure can't. Uh, the segment no, was: uh, if your fingers had mustaches, where would the beards go? And then he also said. I guess the beards would either be on your knuckles or hovering in midair <laughs> just above your fingertips, depending on which way you orient your hand. <laughs> I'm so satisfied there you go. with There's that. the answer. Yeah, yeah. That, that pretty it much seems pretty clear. you listening to Bear Friend Team Party. And if this is Elliot Lynn, we just want to say, go to hell. All right. Okay. Segment four. Segment four. Yeah. Topic four. This is this is mine, right? This is yes. yours. Okay. Segment four. Who is the funniest president? Now, John, you said that you thought this would be cut and dried. I I did. I I did, and here's why. Okay, Um, go on. Okay. Wait, wait. Before you give your explanation, should we just go around and say who our guess is? Like, if if we have an inclination? Like, we should all say it at the same time, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. On, on, after Wait, wait, wait. I need to think about this. (laughs) Just say your first. You can change. No, I've got it. You can change. I've got it. I've got it. I'm just going to go with my gut. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. William, William Howard, Howard Taft. Taft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, John, why, why did you choose? Well, um, as you know, um, being fat Hold is on. funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's pretty funny. Yeah. As, as has already been mentioned on tonight's episode. Um, and he's... By any stretch of the imagination, he, he's clearly far and away the fattest president that we've had. Yeah, yeah. Is that I mean, true? who can disagree with that? He was pretty fat, huh? I mean, he was. There's fat. that urban legend that he got stuck in a bathtub at the White House, and I, I hadn't heard that. It seems pretty funny. That does seem funny. Have you seen that? There's a photo of him in the Philippines riding a water buffalo. No. It's a very funny photo, and I suggest really? you Google it. Yeah, Google image search, William Howard Taft, okay, I'm doing Philippines, that right now. and that will probably get you the photo of him on the water buffalo. This might crash my recording app, but I think it's it, worth it. It'll be worth it. It will be worth it. It is a vi- He was uh, governor general of the Philippines, which was an American colony, before he became president, and it is a very funny photograph. That is oh quite God. the humorous photograph. Yeah, I mean, oh I'd like to see James Monroe pull off a funny picture like that. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't put it past. Oh, I wouldn't put it past him. So, Jeremy, you chose you chose uh, Warren G. Hart. Well, John, first, are you finished making the case for William Howard Taft? <laughs> it's a case that makes itself, Chris. Yes, I'm finished. Okay, but Jeremy, you chose Warren G. Hart. Is that correct? John, don't let Jeremy make his case. Well, I think that to, to me, his name always. <laughs> I always. <laughs> Sorry, I just, did you see the, the photo? The, with the photo the finally buffalo? loaded. <laughs> yes. I, oh my! It always okay. makes. All right. I, <laughs> beat, beat that, cause. Yeah, I mean, I just always, I always think his his name like you know it sounds kind of like Warren G. Hardon. Yeah. Yeah. Hardons are funny. I always have trouble remembering if it's Warren G. Harding or G. Warren Harding. It would be funnier if it was Warren G. Boner. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is true. That would be funny. Um, you know, I mean, it's you know, I think we t- can all agree that it that you know the uh, the more obscure presidents are funnier. Yeah, I think, but not uh, necessarily mostly. like not necessarily like the most obscure ones, but, like, none of your big-name presidents are going to make the list of the funniest. I don't know. Okay. Abraham Lincoln it probably shows up with the most frequency on our... On yeah, he's almost, he's almost the exception that proves the rule, though, don't you think? Yeah. I, I, 
don't know that I accept that, but but go Let on. Do you want to? Should we go down the list? Because we could but just we, decide by giggle meter. Can I before before we do? Can I just throw out? And this may seem like a crazy notion, but I think uh, we've lived with it for so long that we uh, we maybe forget now. Barack Obama is a pretty silly name, and his father was a goat herder. And those are both legitimately funny things. What was his father? A goat herder? His father was a goat herder. I think in 50 years you can ask me that question. I'm just saying, like, if you want to talk about objectively funny, those are both funny things. Hmm. Like, you're so Hmm. inert to it now, but Obama's a pretty funny name. So, so to... to Try saying uh, it a few times. Obama! Um, he died in office. I don't think that's funny. I think that's tragic. Oh, Obama that's pretty funny. did not die pretty in office. Funny. He, he, I mean, he does show up as, like, uh, the worst president on, like, every historian's list. <laughs> that makes him funny. Sort wait, of. Wait. Is that Who funny or is that one? just kind of, like, whatever, you know? Which is, I, who's, who's the Dome one? Scandal. Who? That's, that's, that's a funny it's Come a on, funny the teapot name. dome teapot. scandal. Come on. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, yeah, but the question wasn't. Was what is the funniest? Uh, I mean, what scandal did uh, what scandal did Taft have? Well, I, the that's what I'm saying. Like, incident. you know, the thing is, the thing, much about William, the thing about Taft, like, you've got okay, you've got a funny picture of him riding a water buffalo. I'm going to admit that's funny a funny picture. picture. <laughs> it, really, it really is funny. Are you, are you looking at it? I'm not even looking at it. I'm he just was, thinking about it. He, he was really fat. I'll give you that. But then what else you got after that? What else you got? There's, you know, what else there's no he, he rode on a water buffalo? But like with ta- you know, with Hard- Harding, you know, you've got his name kind of sounds like Hardon. Plus, um, you got the teapot dome scandal, I guess. And like you know, many other things. I guess. I, I mean, it just seems like if you find scandal and tragedy funny, which yeah, and then I, he like I, died. it's like oh, I'm in office, but in oh, comedy. I've died. You Wait, know? who was the one who died like right after taking the oath of office? There was William one Henry. Who, William Harrison. Henry Harrison. William Henry Harrison, and that's pretty funny too because he's got two first names, three really. Is well, he Harrison really wasn't really a Harrison first name. Harrison was not a first name. Harrison is. can be... What about Harrison Ford? No, yeah, but, Harrison's yeah, but a first name Harrison now, Ford but that's, is, that's Harrison definitely a like name. a... That's like a late 20th century kind of affectation first I name. I disagree. Harrison Ford was named early in the 20th century. Is yeah, but true? it didn't... That name didn't become popular well, until Well, he was named later. when he was born, wasn't he? Yeah, but it, isn't it always kind of weird? Like, if somebody shoves their baby in your face and says, this is my baby, Harrison. Because why did they you, shove it in Aren't you always kind of taken aback by that? I like, just bat it to the ground in a case like that. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. And you'd be justified. <laughs> Harrison's a name for an old man. Specifically, Harrison Ford. It's a last name. Or that, the case I guess that was William also Henry the, Harrison or Benjamin Harrison for that. That baby in Dexter was named Harrison. I know, and wasn't that fucking weird? Yeah, no, it was I think disgusting. Harrison is a legitimate totally broke life. the reality of the show. <laughs> what? Who would be the funniest person to be president? Well, I'm suggesting. Funniest, fu- no, no. I'm John suggesting. Lincoln, I can answer I'm this. Suggesting, I, know, I know the answer to this. I'm suggesting uh, Carlos Guzman. I don't know who that is. Oh, is no, that the f- wait? Uh, no, I think I of Louise the Guzman. Funniest, Who's the funniest. Oh, maybe I was thinking of Louise Guzman. To be president would be Polly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> that would like, think, how I funny think, would that be? I, I disagree. I think that would be no, irritating. Like, seriously, I think that would be more. Funny would that be? I think it would be more irritating than funny. I think carrot top. I know, would be but funny. then it would be like get, no, because the thing about carrot top. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think that would be as funny. Carrot Top. Every time I see Carrot Top anymore, I, that just he just makes me sad. You know the problem like, with Carrot Top being president he makes, is they would just call him President Top. <laughs> okay, well, they would sad, call him saddest prop based comedians. Go saddest prop based comedians. Well, number one would be Carrot Top. I think. No, and no, no, two, no, 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 no. Number one is Gallagher's brother. No. Gallagher's brother? Yeah. Oh yeah. 
I was well, not prepared for that trump card. Number one is Gallagher's brother. Number two is Carrot Top. Number three is Gallagher. You th- why do you think Gallagher's <laughs> brother... I feel like Gallagher's brother was just laughing all the way to the fucking bank. Gallagher's brother made a career imitating Gallagher. He's like yeah. a, a poor man's Gallagher. And Gallagher sure. is a poor man's Gallagher. You can't. You cannot say that Gallagher is a poor man's Gallagher. I think you can. No. I mean, Gallagher is the most Gallagher you can get. By the transitive property. That's not the transitive well, that's, property. That, yeah, that's isn't that the, the, the reflective... No, that's a? the reflective property. A equals A is reflective. Transitive would be Fuck A equals B, B equals C, that's therefore bullshit. A equals C. Damn it. But I it's can't derived... Think of any I mean, it is derived directly from the reflective property. Top. Are there other prop comics that I should know? I know Gallagher, I know Carrot Top, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> they, there may be others, and but. then Gallagher's brother. But what's Gallagher's yeah. brother's name? Nobody knows. Is it Yuri Gallagher? <laughs> I got it's that. That Harrison was Harrison Gallagher. Job. Okay, Who is Yuri here we Gallagher? go. All right, that's Look, like a, a, okay. one of those like spoon bending guys, isn't it? Look, Yuri Geller. That's Yuri Geller. Yuri Geller. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were making a joke. I was. <laughs> All right. Um... So let's just take it from let's just take it let's go down the list. <laughs> let's everyone everyone just try just try not to laugh. We'll see which one is funniest. The okay. list of Wait, we're trying not yes. to laugh. What, are Excuse you starting? Me? Are you are you going from um, how, we, how? What kind of list? I'm is starting it chronological with Washington or alphabetical. And I think we we can all agree that nothing after Roosevelt was funny, right? Mm. Wait, wait 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 which Roosevelt? Roosevelt too, Teddy. And let, Not uh, Teddy, George uh, W. Frankie. Bush threw up on the Prime Minister of Japan. That's George no, that H. was the first Bush. Bush. That was I said, H. W. I said, Bush. Okay, oh, I all right, w? we'll go through them wait, all. Wait, 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 I was whatever. just trying wait, to. I was Jer- trying to keep this time out. Time out. Time, brief, out, time, but, time out. Time out. Jeremy, yes. can I raise a, a simple question? Are we calling them? Are we saying Roosevelt or Roosevelt? Because <laughs> Roosevelt think, is pretty I think funny. Calling them. I think calling them Roosevelt would give them an unfair advantage. People said Roosevelt. It was a legitimate pronunciation at the time. People called him President Roosevelt. Okay, if we're going to call him Roosevelt, then we have to call him... We have to call the first president George Washington. <laughs> I think that's totally legitimate. Also, okay, you think I should let's use the not... funniest pronunciation <laughs> possible? Yes. Or also, the funniest let... pronunciation that has been used in the real world? Both. Uh, the latter. And let's not forget that Teddy Roosevelt also started the Bull Moose Party, which is a funny name. That doesn't make him funny, though. That makes it a funny thing look, he did. Look, do you want to do this or not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All I right, do let's it. do this. Okay, we're going, and we're just going to... Should we... Okay, okay. I'm we'll just going to... I'm going to take it from the top. Are you guys ready? Right. I'm Go. ready. Okay. George Washington. <laughs> not yeah, funny. Yeah. Not <laughs> funny. It's not, it's not very funny. That's not very I was, funny. I was laughing about um, something else. He's not funny. John Adams. Paul Giamatti. No, no. No, not funny. he's not funny at all. No, he, Thomas, was, he was from a place called Braintree. That's kind of funny. Thomas that is funny. Jefferson. Mm. James Madison. Read them faster. James no, no, no. He's Monroe. doing funny. He's doing not not funny yet. John Quincy Adams. <laughs> Slightly funny. <laughs> a little bit, little, little bit little funny. funny. Little bit funny. Slightly silly. Andrew Jackson. Wait, wait, wait. You definitely did, not funny. Yeah, that's right. You, no, he's not funny. Uh, Martin Van Buren. <laughs> no, definitely a little, little funny. A little, 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 little funny. bit of oh, they, William they Henry Harrison. Yeah, come on! The guy Solid. died like th- three weeks after taking the oath. Give it up! Give That's it up! Funny. I didn't so wait, Chris, is, is your contention that death is inherently funny? It's I mean, funny. No, 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 John. They all died. <laughs> like yeah, like it's the first funny. So forty far. of them are dead. It's not just <laughs> funny that they're dead. It's funny that the, he finally got elected president, and then within a few weeks he was of getting. Uh, sworn in, he was dead. That's funny. Well, to be fair, he had, it's, it's he, ironic. To be fair, he was funny. a baby. He had only he was only like 
30 days old when he was elected, so he was president for half his life. So you're saying it's not funny when babies die. Citation needed. John Tyler? Um, Nothing. Tippecanoe Nothing. and Tyler, I think, too, is kind I of think, a funny... I think John Tyler is a contender for you least he... funny president, actually. Wow. Oh, uh, James K. Polk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that's pretty funny. That's definitely the winner. That's funny. Sounds like Zachary Polka Dot. Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zachary, is, Zachary is kind of funny. Millard Fillmore is... Wait, are we just saying who's had the funniest name? Is that what this has devolved what? into? Franklin Pierce. Not funny. Franklin Delano James Pierce. James Buchanan. A terrible president. Bachelor president. He was not funny. Abraham was, Lincoln. <laughs> kind of funny. Funny, but only, only I don't think none of context. these are very funny. Andrew Johnson. Terrible, Abraham Lincoln president. is almost funny, like, despite, or because of his inherent unfunniness. Okay, okay, can we, wait, wait, time out, time out, time out. Imagine Abraham Lincoln in the, uh, in the anachronistic Uncle Sam outfit playing basketball. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of an unfair advantage. Well, yeah, unfair advantage, I mean, any, any of them would be funny in that context. <laughs> yeah. No, but he had the body, body type for it. He was tall and thin. Andrew Johnson. Abraham Lincoln could totally dunk on, you know, most of the presidents. Ulysses S. Grant. Boy, that's surprisingly unfunny. Yeah, that's not it's funny a, at it all. Should be a Rutherford B. Hayes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, Rutherford. Good, Rutherford. Good for a titter. Yeah, Rutherford but is what I, makes it I, funny. I, I, are Rutherford we trying to Roosevelt find, would be really Are funny. we trying to find the funniest name for the funniest president? Because I don't know. We're, just going by name. we're investigating a lot of different possibilities here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chester A. Arthur. Mm. I've never even heard of some of these. Yes, Chester A. Arthur? Who you've you've heard of that? some of these? Is that what you said? Uh, no, I've never heard of some of these. You've heard of them. We had a read and, read and learn placemat. Chester read, A. Read Arthur is 26 out of 42. Grover Cleveland. That was a diehard reference. Yeah, I know. I was trying to ignore it. <laughs> Benjamin Cleveland Harris. Kind of That's funny. the smart thing are you to gonna, do. Are you going to say Grover Cleveland twice? No. Nope. You should say it twice. It would be an unfair advantage. <laughs> William McKinley. <laughs> hey guys, now I know what a TV dinner feels like. That was that was a diehard reference. Theodore uh, Roosevelt. <laughs> oh yeah, I think he's a contender. I think Are we still doing this? Roosevelt. William I think Howard Taft. Yep, yep, yep. Getting funnier. No one's laughing at all. Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> it's because we're stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Wilson. Warren G. Harding. Uh, yeah. Keep them coming. I don't think any of these are funny. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. You're not going to say Calvin Coolidge? No. no. You know, when what I was about <laughs> Herbert Hoover? I think uh, Franklin Roosevelt. Look, I'll, con- I'll concede Taft is pretty funny. I, you guys you know, both think it's Taft. I'm... I just, I'm I'm leaning towards uh, Teddy Roosevelt right now. Teddy Roosevelt? <laughs> yeah. Roosevelt is funny. They called him Teddy. He sometimes wore, you know, he wore weird outfits like a pince nez. He, and, wore, uh, he wore a suit made out of teddy bears, right? Isn't that where he got his I name? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, he wore, um, he wore, well, just the pants. The pants had bears all over them. Um, he was the leader of the Rough Riders... He, uh, he started the Bull Moose Party. There are a lot of funny names associated with Theodore Roosevelt. Okay, so we're all agreed on William Howard Taft then, right? Well, <clears throat> Polk was a strong contender. Yeah, I'll give you that. They're all pretty funny. Too bad they're all such scumbags. Most of them are dead. Uh, so, you know, in a sense, they got what was coming to them. 
That's true. I'm glad they're dead. I ah, that's say true. That. I will say that about most of the American presidents. I'm glad they're fucking dead. That's, that's kind of a mean thing to say. I just wish the last few were dead, too. I wish everybody was dead. <laughs> Do we have uh, do we have an email address where people can reach us? Oh right, okay. Uh, if if you enjoyed Bear Friend Tea Party, you should seek professional counseling. Um, you can find Bear Friend Tea Party on iTunes and the Zune Marketplace and wherever paperbacks are sold. You can reach us at www.flowersofdisgust.com. If you'd like to contact Bear Friend Tea Party, that would be an awesome thing to do, and you should do it. You can contact Bear Friend Tea Party at bearfriendteaparty at aol.com or call us 503-754-8096. That number again, 503-754-8096. And our alarm code. Uh, the first <laughs> caller or email to Bear Friend Tea Party will receive twenty dollars. You can also find us on Twitter at Bear Friend Tea Party. B R F R N D T T R T Y. We tweet at least once a year. Church.
chill. We're gonna love you out the ones I can't be still. Girl, I'll be your Garfield. Gonna love you like lasagna in the dark Girl I'll be your William Howard Taft Gonna ride you like a buffalo 